Here's one from Aaron Rodgers to all of you at home. We're able to sit this one out. Of course, the Packers will have a bye next week, and he has company on the inactive list today. Four Pro Bowl players for Green Bay. Among some big-time names will not be in action, including Charles Woodson. Well, as we said earlier, they got done what they needed to get done during the week in terms of their practice tempo. But right now, the key for Green Bay is they want to be physical. This is a, obviously a division rival, but by the same stoke, uh, stake, they have got a lot more out in front of them. They want to stay as healthy as they can. That's a tough balance to play physical, play passionate, but play healthy. Packers have won 20 in a row in the state of Wisconsin, the streak that began back in 1992. So making his first start of this season, second career start, is Aaron Rodgers' backup, Matt Flynn. And his first pass right on the money to Donald Driver. 49ers lose in St. Louis, and New Orleans win. The Saints would become the second seed. Very close to a first down. It depends where they spot it. On the catch by... Your Michael Finley, and we shall see. It is right there, snuggled up against our yellow line, which is not the official line, and now they say first down. No hard feelings going into this one today. Flynn escapes trouble and finds Nelson for a first down to the 37-yard line. That's the way Matt Flynn used to do it the last time he regularly played when he led the LSU Bengal Tigers to a national championship of college football. Well, they just one on one on the outside, but it breaks down as Flynn leaves the pocket. They've got jammed up pretty good coverage there, but as the pressure broke down and Flynn was able to get outside, Jordy Nelson able to use that side size and work himself to the sideline. Packers have converted both third downs on this drive and make it a third. First and goal, Green Bay on the catch by Finley. Nelson tripped up, but still managed to make the catch, and it's first and goal for Green Bay inside the 10. Surprise there wasn't a penalty flag there. It looked like he was tackled before he ever caught it. Great pickup here. Just a little chip by Finley before he goes in the route. And Jordy Nelson, we talked about Jermichael Finley having that size that quarterbacks love. Well, this is a wide receiver at darn near 6'4". Gets a little bit of a grab going down. Back-to-back -back possessions, they've been first and goal, and Nelson finds the end zone. He just shoved Alfonso Smith out of the way and races to pay dirt for the 13th time this year. Pro Bowl. Jennings has more receptions, but Nelson more yards and touchdowns to the Packers lead for the first time today. Blitz coming. And they set up a screen. Big yardage for Ryan Grant. Crossing midfield. Inside the 10, and he'll go the distance. Touchdown reception by Ryan Grant. After the play was over, on spots of light conduct, number 25, the offense. 15 yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Right here, great timing on this. Great call by Mike McCarthy. They think they're going to get home on the pressure, but it was to set up the blitz. Anytime you can get a screen called against man or pressure, it typically can go to the house. Great play call, great execution. Boy, so many things going on there. Ryan Grant barely getting a piece. All but with the turnovers that we saw last week. And across the middle. Catch made by Jermichael Finley up to the 43 in a first down. 
Here you can see Finley coming across the field, and again, just the size, the matchup with Spave, all but at 5'11, Finley all at 6'5. Leads him just enough. That matchup, anytime Matt Flynn can see that type of matchup, he's going to find Finley. Will be another penalty against the Lions and a free play. Why not put it up there for Nelson? He caught it! And a touchdown! We figured it was a free play. It looked like on Gray Flewellen jumped off sides. And Flynn does what a smart quarterback will do and just throw it up there. And Nelson went and got it. Number 96, defense, Middle East Klein, touchdown. Now we talked about them going after Alfonso Smith all day. He's got the better of it once with the interception. But Jordy Nelson again using that size. I've talked about Finley and his size. Jordy Nelson all of 6'4. Alfonso Smith maybe stretching it to 5'9. Just the kind of jump ball matchup you want here. Down the field. He knows it's a free play. Going to go up, use that size. Great hands. Just gets his feet inbounds. Great catch by Jordy Nelson. Break the run and come back route by Nelson, and that's the first down up to the 39 yard line. Nelson closing in on a 100 yard receiving day. This is just up against press coverage. Just his faith in the quarterback again. Look at his size, just a little bit of a shove there. But he's so big and so strong and so nifty as a route runner. That's tough for a DB that possibly has superior athletic skill or superior coverage ability. But it, you can run with the guy, but he just seems to muscle his way open every time. Play action and Flynn looking to Nelson down the field and he's got it. Flynn to Jordy Nelson. Flynn is a free agent at the end of the year, and you can mark it down. There are a pile of teams that will be watching this performance today. There will be, and with a throw like this, I tell you what, we just talked about Jordy Nelson. Not only muscling your way open for the route, but just muscling your way through for the catch. He's just such a big body that you have to deal with. Nice arrow over the top. I don't know whether you expected help Chris Houston down the middle. Kenna gets knotted off of it. But again, just he got his hand on it late, but he just muscles his way through it. Jordy Nelson is a guy that uh, a lot of other people are going to watch. I, he comes up in free agency in not too long a period of time either. A lot of people are going to have their eyes on him. I'd be very surprised if he ever leaves the Green Bay Packers. Driver to the end zone. Now we talk about crossing routes as a great way to break down coverage. They might be asking Aaron who. Yeah, we got a quarterback controversy. Yeah. Right now, you think? <laughs> let's let's start that. 402 one. yards wow. for That's Flynn and five game. touchdowns. Consider this: until last week, Aaron Rodgers had never played an NFL game in his career where he threw for five touchdowns. Flynn, in his second career start, wow. has thrown five for Flynn. Perhaps even more amazingly, only the second Packer ever to throw for over 400 yards in a game and have five touchdowns. I give you two guesses as to who the other one was. Your first two would be Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. Guess what? Not right. Got to go all the way back to 1969. Don Horn. The only other Packer to throw for over 400 yards in a game and five touchdowns. And now it is Flynn's turn. 
as he finds Jones for a first down to the 37. Been an issue for the Green Bay Packers yep. in terms of their pass defense. Oh boy, looking for Jones. He beat Chris Houston for a 40-yard gain. Deep pass down the field is thrown at 40 and 5. That gives you just enough margin for error on the outside. I guarantee you that thing hit exactly at 40 yards with the fall away. That's as perfectly thrown deep ball as you can see in the NFL this year. A little bit of dry smile going, yeah, that's just the way we practiced it. Out of the field with Finley right here. Found it. I don't know how well Matt Flood's going to play in the NFL, but it's hard to believe he will ever have another day like this. He has just set a Green Bay Packer franchise record of six touchdowns in a game. And you got to remember, this is the only guy in the last 20 years who has started a game at quarterback for the Packers outside of Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. Amazing. Simply amazing. Point after makes it a four-point lead for Green Bay. Well, he knew exactly where he was going. He was going to use the size of Jermichael Finley just to work underneath on Spave. He's loving it. He's loving it. Aaron <laughs> Rodgers going, the day I missed. That could have been me. <laughs> He's happy for the young man. Been behind him the whole year. Been helpful. A real resource for him he talked about. You could tell it was very genuine from Aaron Rodgers, the regard he had for Matt Flynn. Plus, plus he's got uh, a bunch of timeouts. Boy, you can just see it all here. Getting a look at all six touchdowns. Brought up earlier last year when he started at quarterback for Green Bay. The first time anybody besides Rodgers or Favre had started a game since September of 1992. In that game, he threw two, three touchdowns and a loss at New England. And here he is in his first start this year, second career start, and he breaks an all-time Packer record with 480 yards and six touchdown throws. Mike McCarthy gets his sweep of the division, yep. first time ever for the Packers. That was the carrot he threw out to his team all week long. First Packer team to sweep the NFC North since divisional play began. Congratulations to Matt Flynn. Brian Billick, it's been a great season. Enjoyed every minute of it. For Brian Billick, Laura Oakman, our entire crew. Stay tuned for the second half of our Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader.